You know. No Fuck em. Run, 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 come here right now. Here right now. Here right now. There's only one thing. All right, this is not my comeback video. I still need to get everything situated with my recording software and stuff like that because I legitimately deleted everything whenever I quit YouTube, so I kind of need to get everything back. But on the other hand, we are going to be doing a top 5 workshop skins on CSGO because if you guys do not know, uh, people just make cool little skins and I want to, you know, go over them and make some cool little videos with them. So here comes number 5. Coming in at number 5, we have the M4 Diablo. Now, I really, really like the skin. The only reason why I actually like the skin is because of the Call of Duty in me. The Call of Duty player in me really, really likes this because it looks a little bit like the digital camo from Call of Duty. And maybe it's just me because CSGO people, they hate, really, really hate Call of Duty and they hate like play, people that play Call of Duty and stuff like that. But I personally do not have a problem with it and I would love for Valve to implement this into the game, maybe put it in the next case. So yeah, that was the M4 Diablo. Coming in at number 4, we have the 5.7 Hyper Beast. Now, after seeing the Hyper Beast skin on the 5.7, I feel like the Hyper Beast skin was made for the 5.7. It looks so, so clean, so, so nice. And the guy that actually made this um, made it for the P90 Nova and other guns like that. And I personally really, really like this. If uh, Valve actually ended up introducing this to the game, I feel like a lot of people will be buying it. And if this was a red, I'd definitely start investing money into it because it looks so nice. So, yeah, that was number five. Coming in at number three, we have the Tech 9 Hexen or Hexane, however you want to say it. And I think that the blue, black, and silver combination on this gun looks so, so nice. I think that Valve. Again, should definitely. Uh, I'm gonna be saying this a lot. Valve should definitely implement these into the game because they look so so nice, and it's so simple, so so nice though. And there's not a lot of Tech Nine skins that actually look that appealing to me, like the uh, Sandstorm and other things like that. It just doesn't really intrigue me how um, this skin did, and I really really like the cleanness of the skin. So that yeah, that was number three. Coming in at number two, we have the USPS. Renegade now this skin looks so so nice. I love the detail. I love the skull I love everything about it like the bullet that shapes out the word death. It looks so so nice I feel like valve Without a doubt any of the, any other skins that um, wouldn't be implemented But if this one was implemented, I'd be so happy. This would look so nice in game uh, I saw some screenshots of it in game I can't really save them onto my computer right now But it looks so so nice and I definitely feel like valve should be looking into the skin if not, the, all the other ones. Coming in at number one, we have the Op Gentle Borg. Now, you guys cannot say that this skin looks bad because it looks so, so clean. It looks fun. It has the blue color to it. It has, like, the red. It has every single color. I love the way it looks. Valve, without a doubt, should definitely just implement this into the game. Like, it's just no. It's, it's a no-brainer. It looks so, so nice. And... I would definitely buy this. I would definitely buy this myself. If, if you guys saw the screenshots on Dust 2, it actually, like, blows your mind. It looks so, so nice. And if it was factory new, it would look so dope. Like, it actually would be a no-brainer buy. Like, I honestly feel like I would buy this as soon as it came out.